Full Stack DR doesn't limit or attempt to tell you how to deploy your applications for disaster recovery. We want you to implement disaster recovery your way, not our way. How you deploy applications to meet your unique business or DR needs is up to you. You simply use standard OCI services to set up networking, provision storage, storage replication, compute, databases, and data guard between OCI regions. It is up to you to install and deploy Oracle and non-Oracle applications across OCI regions following a DR deployment plan you devise or a DR deployment plan devised by whatever application suite you are using. If you can already perform DR recoveries between OCI regions, then you are ready to begin using Full Stack DR. You don't have to change anything about the way your applications are already deployed for DR if you don't want to. However, if you're still in the planning stages, then you need to understand Full Stack DR does not influence your DR design and implementation. It simply orchestrates DR for what you've already deployed. I'll show you how to find DR reference architectures written by some of the more popular Oracle applications. Just follow the deployment architecture as they explain in their documentation. And trust me when I say Full Stack DR can automate whatever you deploy using the architecture they prescribe. Now here's how you find cross-AD and cross-region DR reference architectures for applications. Begin with docs.oracle.com using your favorite browser. Scroll down until you see the link for Architecture Center and select it. Now type something like Deploy eBusiness Cloud Region in the search tool. Then select any solutions you find that have the words multi-region or multi-domain in the summary, like so. Now look in the table of contents for anything the application suite has written about deploying their application across regions or availability domains. Now here's an example for PeopleSoft. Here's an example for J.D. Edwards Enterprise One. Just replace the application name in the search string with whatever application you want to deploy for DR and see if it comes up with anything. These are just examples. You can probably find more. Remember, the applications of mostly documented solutions for warm or hot standby deployment architectures and sometimes active active deployments, but not pilot light. Full Stack DR has no problem automating failover for any deployment architecture you devise. But most enterprises want to keep costs and technical debt down by using a pilot light deployment architecture for as many of their business systems as possible. Pilot Lite is a less expensive solution since you are in essence moving the same compute instances hosting applications between regions rather than maintaining two sets of compute at both regions. Since the applications haven't documented anything for Pilot Lite, you will have to do a little creative thinking if you want to deploy an application using this type of active passive deployment architecture. The solution designed by the applications typically deploy warm or hot standby with what we call non-movable compute and use rsync to keep compute at both regions synchronized with each other. But you can also explore using block storage replication for non-movable compute if your application is well behaved and doesn't spread files and artifacts all over the operating system. Pilot Lite, on the other hand, uses movable compute which relies on replicating the boot and block volumes to the peer region. In this case, Full Stack DR simply starts the replicated versions of the compute at the peer region. This is a less complex, lower maintenance solution that eliminates the cost of OCPU for compute at the standby region. Keep in mind that Oracle databases use DataGuard, not storage replication for active passive type architectures. Don't worry, we are hard at work documenting pilot light deployment architectures for popular Oracle applications tailored specifically for full stack DR to help make it a little easier for you. And 
We're exploring the possibility of incorporating some cross-region DR deployment capabilities for infrastructure and platform into full-stack DR in the future. But this is going to take a while, and I cannot speculate, comment, or promise dates for availability of documentation or new features. You should finish watching the remaining videos in this series of basic concepts to help you understand what full-stack disaster recovery does and how to implement it.